Okay, so I'm going to mute everybody, and I'll go about halfway through the presentation, and then I'll stop and unmute so you can ask uh, any questions that you might have. Um, I'm going to switch my screen over uh, and uh, open up uh, my website uh, and uh, take you step by step. The first one I'm going to do is for Club Runner, and it's entitled how do I add a club executive? It's one of the handouts, so give me a second to switch over. And wait a second. Now I, now I see it. Okay. And I like, love it when technology when is in the way. Okay. So I'm going to step through the first one, how to add a club executive. I'm going to be using the Littleton Rotary Club because I'm a member of the Littleton Rotary Club. So step one talks about member, member login. So you can see up here on the right-hand side on the top, you see the member login. I'm going to click that and I get a login window. I'll enter my login information. And I'm back in, but I see my name over here again on the top right. I'll click on the link member area, step two from the document that I sent out. And here's the list that I get. I will go and look at the tabs across the top line for organization. It's in the middle. I'll click organization. Okay, turning the page if you if you printed it out. Step four, I'll go to executives and directors on the top on the top right. And here's my current year executive directors of my club. The people who have access to Club Runner District are the president, the president elect, the secretary, and the treasurer. They can go and log in in Club Runner District if they're defined in uh, Club Runner at the club level or they've been defined at the district level. Since I'm dealing with 2016 17 here, I want to click to the next year, which is to the right hand side. And I click that link, and now I can populate the positions uh, for, my, for my club. In this case, just to show you what it looks like, because my club has been populated by our executive secretary, Steve Glines, I can click on Edit. The position title is um, an open title. You can usually define it in any way that you want. My suggestion is that you follow along with um, the position uh, name. The position is pull down and you click on that and you can have whatever the position is you're filling and then you pick the name of the member that you want to fill that position. You come to the right hand side and you click save. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to I don't want to mess up the site. If I need to add a new position because the president, the president-elect, uh, the secretary or treasurer were not there, I would click this link to add a new, um, add a new uh, uh, position. At this point in time, I'm now done. And I've updated the club. The club, Rotary, the uh, club runner information will then populate Rotary International. So at uh, this point, do we have any questions? Yeah, Dick. Yeah. This is my era, but that's okay. As we're looking at your 17, 18 positions. Yeah. Uh, I have formatted all, all of the uh, clubs with that same sequence. So yeah. consistent, 
So no one should change any sequence numbers. But if you notice on the item 11, I did not change that title. I made a mistake. It should say president, because that's the president-elect line. It should right. say president 2018-19. And we're on line 13, or uh, line 12 should be president 1920. I will correct those. Go by, go by the president, president-elect, vice president. Just you know, realize right. it's wrong on the left. So that That's may okay. be not across Welcome. the board. This service but, is provided um, by FreeConferenceCall.com. The recording has started. So the point, the point being, the thing that's the thing that's most important is position here, which is comes from the pull-down menus as opposed to the titles. And the sequence number is just the sequence that shows up on the home page. Right. Dick, Steve Sager here. Yes, Steve. Um, so, so as long as the clubs are doing this, the clubs that have to be next couple of years out, there's somebody, somebody's got feedback coming. Hang on a second. Let's see if I can. Let me, uh, Did, did you hear that, or was it uh, too much feedback? No, now I just I just dropped it, so now you can talk. Go ahead. Oh, okay, so w what I was saying is that uh, clubs like Littleton, which have uh, president-elect and VP, you can also do, go out the next year and the year after as well and populate those fields. Which you will can, and, and, right. and when you do that, you click this carry over executive and director positions, and it'll carry the positions over, and then you can populate them. Exactly. But the responsibility of doing this belongs to the club secretary. Um, it is defined in the secretary's manual. It's defined in the club bylaws. Um, the club secretary needs to understand how to do this because part of their responsibility is to keep this information current. Do I have anybody else who's... Do I have I think it was I, I think it was coming from uh, I think it was coming from yeah okay. Dick, can you hear me yeah can you hear me? now I hear you okay what I would like to say this is based upon Steve's comment I wouldn't recommend any rolling over to the year 1819 until you know when you're getting your slate for the next year because if the current president, for instance, they make a, they put a new position in there that they might do, that new position won't roll up. So right. if you roll over now, any changes you make this year will not be in the uh, 1920. So that rolling up, what's been happening, even though it is, as Dick said, it's a secretary's responsibility, uh, they, they're so slow in doing that. What I've been doing the last couple of years is rolling them over over for them in December, but I okay. wouldn't roll them up. I wouldn't roll them up early. Okay. Well, I mean, the point is that they're not elected until December anyway. That's right. But if but if someone clicks that roll up now, then it's premature to do that. Well, then the other problem is you have to go back and individually change each one. So our recommendation and the the focus, good points, but I think the focus right now is getting the president, the president elect. The secretary and the treasurer in to 2017 and 2018. So, as Jim suggests, I think we should just focus on having club secretaries do it during that period. Do I have any more questions from anyone on doing this at the club level? No. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is go to the second. Um, handout, and it says add, pay, add a club executive or director on the district page. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out of my Littleton Rotary Club, and I'm going to go to the district site. Um, I'm going to click Member Login on the top right. I'm going to log in. I'm going to member area, step two of the uh, handout on the top right. I'm going to click it. That's a little bit, it's a little bit different here. I'm going over to the first tab, four clubs, which is point number three, and I'm going to click four clubs. This is what will happen when a president president-elect, secretary, or treasurer don't have club runner at their local level, and they're logging into the district site. This is what they will see. Um, step four, I click define club executives, and your club will come up with the year 2016-2017. Click next year. And it's exactly the same process that we just used on the other page. Um, in this case, if we wanted to edit this edit, we would click Edit, Title, select a position. The position is the important one. And select the member name. And click Save. And it would be saved and updated. And that's how uh, the club secretary has to do it. When I was um, an AG, I was an AG for three years before I became AG coordinator under under Jim. Um, I would sit I would sit down with the club president or the club secretary and um, sit down and do it with them. The only people that can do this at the district level is the club president, the club president elect, the club secretary, or the club treasurer. And it is the club secretary's responsibility. And it's as simple as that. This is a much easier way of doing it than trying to do it at Rotary International. And um, so this is our recommended approach. Any questions on this? So as an AG, you're, you're going to need to either get the club secretary to do it, or you have to sit down with the club secretary and I would recommend you, you do it with the club secretary, um, maybe with the club president coming in, but the club secretary is the one who's going to have to do the updates uh, throughout the year, and they need to understand how to do this. Do I have any other questions at this point? Karen, do you have any, any closing comments? Uh, no, I just want to thank everybody for calling in and for helping to get this done and this is a important step in managing your own little kingdom of clubs so hopefully we can make some progress with this in the next couple of weeks thank you dick for scheduling to do this okay i'm available i'm available to help remember that clubs by their bylaws are required to have President, President-elect, and the next year's officers defined by December 31st. Uh, and um, the secretary—it's the secretary's job. They gotta, you know, they gotta, they gotta do the work. Um, and I, I recommend that um, I recommend that they uh, that you work with the club secretaries to do it. Uh, Jim, uh, any comments? Steve Sager, any comments? No, nope, not, not at all. <laughs> not Great. Thing. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night, and I'll be sending out the recording link in a little while. Thank you, Dick. Thanks. Okay. Thank Bye -bye. you. Thanks, Dick. Bye now. Bye-bye.